Libra, welcome to your October reading. Happy birthday. I feel like there's some things that could be stressing you out. Um, I feel like you don't need to be focusing on things that you can't control. Um, I also feel like attract and receive. Don't chase. Don't force. Don't try so hard to do something. It's like if you're noticing that you're trying and you're trying and you're trying, then that's actually connected to an energy of like lack, which means you're without something and you're trying to get something. And if you're constantly feeling that, then you're going to be attracting more lack because it's from a place of lack. So it's like, you don't wanna be focusing on that. You wanna be standing in your power in new ways. You wanna be knowing what is meant for you won't pass you. You will always have what is meant for you. And I feel like there's a big opportunity here to just focus on learning how to ground yourself more and how to um, create more stability in your life. I also feel like there's new finances or money. I have a king of pentacles. I also have your card here, which is the empress. I like this combination. You also have a 10 of cups and the strength card. Okay, so I have the 10 of cups and the strength card. I have the king of pentacles and the empress. And this is a beautiful energy because this is showing that there are new connections um, that are coming into your life. Maybe it's collaborations, work, um, negotiations, contracts, maybe it's friendships or whatever. But I feel like you need to make sure that you are feeling fully balanced and healthy, mentally healthy, physically, so that you can invite and bring in these new connections. I also feel like some of you are maybe thinking about moving or there are some foundational things, so old structures, habits, behaviors, things that make you feel quote unquote safe and comfortable. And a lot of those things, it's like, it's time to give them up. Um, that could be stressing you out. I have a four of wands here reversed and a nine of swords. Um, but with a 10 of wands reverse, a 10 of wands reverse, I feel like don't carry the weight of everything feeling so serious. That's the other thing. There's like a lot of serious energy or things that require your attention that make you feel like you need to change this. You need to take control of that. You want to do this. And it's just like, just go with the flow. I have the temperance here reversed. So I feel like something about your current situation feels out of your control and you're trying to take control of that. And it's like, just let it go. We have eclipse season happening very soon. And I want to talk about that for a little bit. So this eclipse season, you have the south node in your sign, which means you will be strongly affected by this eclipse um, and the eclipses for the next little while, okay? So this is like a year and a half around that time. Now, with the south node in your sign, this is an opportunity for you to be letting go of old relationships, letting go of old expectations of yourself, letting go of self-sacrifice, of um, people pleasing, trying to like make sure that everything is like always working for them and that you're adjusting yourself and you're prioritizing them and you're it, like all of the things, all of the ways that you've just been not prioritizing yourself, like that needs to go because you need to be showing up fully and authentically. And you can't do that if you continue to people please all the time. You know what I mean? So even if you feel like, oh, fuck, like I really want to just keep the balance. So I'm going to like, you know, water myself down so that I can match your needs or I'm going to show up early because you need me, but then I'm not giving myself enough energy. I'm not giving myself enough time. I'm not giving myself enough love or whatever. It's like you need you right now. Okay. You need you. So it's like you can't be prioritizing other people. And I think you're going to find that your energy gets way too split and divided if you're trying to make everyone happy. So this eclipse season, especially with the south node in your sign, is going to be showing you how you continue to adjust yourself to make other people happy. It's not your job. It's not your responsibility. So now we have an opportunity to let that go. But when you start to let that go, 
you feel like, oh my God, like what are people gonna think about me? Am I going to be able to find other friends? Am I gonna find another lover? Am I gonna find a better job? Am I gonna find whatever? And yes, you will. I have the strength card and I have the 10 of cups. So like you 110% will find like new friends, new lovers, new work, like everything. Like everything will just fall into place totally but not when you are trying to micromanage everything. Like you can't, it's not in your control anyways. It's like, you can't control the world. You can't control other people. You can't like get what you want from other people. And maybe some of you, like you really want something from this person or from this job or from this connection or whatever. I really want something. And it's like, it's not showing up. Well, it's just like, you've got this magician reverse. You can't you can't force it, you can't make it happen. But what you can do is continue to invest into yourself and invest into your your life and invest into your future. And like this south node in Libra is asking you to understand how you show up in relationships up until now and see what is not really benefiting you, what is not really working for you. And that's connected to like relationships related to money, like your work. Maybe you need to increase your prices. Maybe you need to um, ask for that raise. Maybe you need to just say, I'm not fucking doing that because it's not my job description. It's not my responsibility. Why do you always give me this? And I always say yes, but then I'm sitting here and I'm like resentful for you. It's like that kind of energy, it just, it needs to go. And you need to be really careful because we just had a full moon in Aries. So a lot of your words could it's like you're bottling things up and then all of a sudden you just lash out and you wanna just like, well then fuck you and blah, blah. And it's like, don't do that. If you're noticing other people are doing that, then say to them like, that is so disrespectful. Like, don't talk to me like that. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but like, I'm not going to allow that in my space anymore. And it's like, a lot of you are just feeling drained and exhausted because you've been doing so much for everyone for so long. And now it's just like, I need a fucking break. So, a couple things are coming through. We have eclipse season that is starting very soon. Welcome to reset, okay? A reset. Now, some of you also thinking about moving or um, shifting very like strong habits or foundational behaviors, things that maybe, maybe they're things that you've done for so long and it's just become more like um, calcified in your body. It's just like, you wake up and immediately you want coffee or you wake up and immediately you check your phone or you wake up and whatever. And it's just like those types of routines that you've always done. Well, it's like now you're noticing like these are actually draining me. Like I need more me time. I need more, you know, space to myself so that I can breathe and understand what is my energy? What is other people's energy and how can I manage myself better? And I feel like there's also, I'm hearing like this reset on your nervous system. So like, like, you know, lean into that, learn how to, how to breathe slower, like breath work. Um, I'm also hearing maybe meditation or, um, hiring a, a coach or something like that. But there's this overall energy of like, you want to reestablish yourself in so many ways. And now you have an opportunity to do that because the eclipses are happening in your sign. So with that south node in Libra, it's time to let go of the old identity and characteristics and to just say, fuck it, I'm going to just dive into the new, right? If you wanna dive in and actually like learn how to work with this energy, I have a nodes workshop, I'll tag it to this video. You'll see there's like products that you can click and they'll open. I would strongly suggest that you watch that because the nodes are in your sign. The south node is in your sign. So this is a huge opportunity. now. With eclipse season, so the eclipses happen around every six months. We have eclipses starting very soon, okay? Now, every six months, we have eclipses. So in that middle time, there's six months between eclipses. And we're now in that, you know, we're just wrapping up that six month cycle. We just, like, literally yesterday, I believe, yeah, yesterday, had um, a full moon in Aries. This is your last chance to let go and to set the intention to call in. 
anything major that you want to really close out or establish for yourself for this next chapter. Why do I say that? Because in the middle of those eclipses, we have six new moons and six full moons, which means that you have opportunity six times each to let go, clear out um, a bunch of things and to call in and establish a bunch of things. When the eclipse season happens, that is accelerated change, which means everything that you've been waiting for, hoping for, taking action on, everything just like boom, it triggers and it shifts. And now we are working with a new energy. So this eclipse season that is happening in your sign, this is really like, boom, shit is going to start changing. If you want to make sure that you are making the right changes and you're letting go of all of the shit that is weighing you down, because like this 10 of wands is saying like, we can't continue to do what we've been doing. And this nine of wands, which is reverse. Oh, I love that. You've got the lover's card here. So this is what I'm saying. Like this, you have new options. You have new connections, new love, new work, new contracts. It's all coming, but you can't have that. You can't have this 10 of cups. You can't have this if you're still holding on to all of this because this is distracting. This is draining you. So this tower card is saying, when eclipse season happens, you're going to notice that you are feeling more empowered to stand in your power and to take control and to start making start making better choices and prioritizing yourself in new ways. Beautiful. But that change happens when the eclipses close out these old chapters. Right now, you are still in the last few pages of that old chapter. So don't waste this energy. We just had the last full moon before eclipse season. It was also a full moon in Aries, which is opposite your sign. So there's a lot of tension building. There's a lot of feelings of, oh my God, I need to make these changes. I want to start something new. I want to initiate, you know, this new business, or I want to take action after this new connection. I want to stop doing these other things because they're, they're not benefiting me anymore. And it's like, you have an opportunity right now, like literally today before eclipse season starts to use this energy to actually wrap things up and, and clear them out. Why? So you don't bring them into this next chapter because the eclipses are going to close one door and open a new one. But if that new door opens and you're still holding on and bringing into the next chapter these old things, then you're not properly working with this energy. So if you want to actually use this energy to let go and clear out, click on the link in my bio, watch my full moon workshop. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to tell you like this actually is how you work with this energy. It's a free workshop. You can pay whatever you want. It's like donation based, like literally, I, I don't care. You can pay 25 cents, but it's like just watch it, watch it, watch it. Use this energy to wrap up this old chapter because this next chapter is starting very, very fucking soon. Like the next full moon will be an eclipse and that eclipse is on your axis. So it's Aries and Libra and bitch, like get ready because the shit that you're letting go of and the shifts that are happening are going to start speeding up, but you need to work with this energy, okay? I'm sending you so much love. If this was helpful, please let me know in the comments. Send this to another Libra. You can share it on your Instagram story. These are free. So like I show up for you. I give you this for free. Please support me by just sending this to another friend, sharing it on your Instagram story. Let me know in the comments if this resonates. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll chat with you soon, Libra. Okay, I love you. Ciao.